I am Dr. Mustafa Nagash from uh, Ethiopia, uh, from Addis Ababa, capital city of Ethiopia. I am a gynecologist obstetrician and a uh, fellowship in fertility and endocrinology in the country. And uh, I am the first uh, endo uh, fertility and uh, endocrine care training currently. Mer fertility training program is very helpful uh, for me and I had uh, some short course trainings in fertility care in other places uh, but uh, this center is uh, very intensive very organized structured with all the simulators and I learned from this center how the center the setup is uh, IVF typical IVF center is well organized the administrative flow and the laboratories the clinical care and the patient flow and uh, from uh, counseling to up to the patient discharge from the hospital. And uh, I have learned this organization from this center, uh, coming to the clinical exposure. Uh, there is also a well-structured lectures going on uh, by well-known uh, fertility providers uh, here in the center and they, they have also a very long experience and they have their own fellows and they have experience and we have a lecture, we have a simulation which we can exercise in all, all clinical care areas in fertility. All simulations are there, the ultrasound, the ovum pickup, the, the hysteroscopies and the embryo transfer. <coughs> All these things are there for, uh, uh, according to the level of difficulties and the challenges and uh, we have also ample patients for exposure and uh, in all areas and uh, this uh, will help me a lot in organizing uh, my center when going back and uh, providing uh, structured well-organized care for my patients. Yeah, uh, my immediate uh, plan is uh, organize as much as possible. I have to uh, exercise what I have gained from here. So uh, to, to do that, I have all the resources. I have, uh, I have all the resources, uh, like uh, we have started just uh, uh, IVF uh, care in the, one of the public hospital. And in return, I will recruit my patients, I will uh, uh, evaluate them, I will follow them, and I will uh, uh, treat up to uh, pick up and the transfer. And I will also see the organization of my center in relation to this uh, center, to the standard uh, care. And uh, we have also uh, both operative and the diagnostic hysteroscope, laparoscope, and we are doing already that. <coughs> So after going back, uh, I, this is a very right time, very, very appropriate time for me to utilize my skills that, uh, and the knowledge I have gained from this center. Uh, in my stay here, uh, the areas I have exposed is in, in patient, uh, from patient entry to patient uh, exit. From patient entry uh, to the hospital, I have, uh, I have exposed to different types of patients with different cares, different uh, types of service uh, needs of the patients. And uh, we have uh, clerked, we have evaluated and uh, to the ultrasound. Uh, from the ultrasound, we have uh, seen all types of uh, lesions, uh, normal types, variantes, uh, anomalies and uh, pregnancies and uh, with ultrasound we, we have follicular monitoring uh, and drug treatments monitoring regimens and uh, which protocols uh, which pro uh, patient fits which protocols and uh, which one is appropriate for which particular patient and also uh, counseling intensive counseling uh, by uh, providers at OPD and uh, outpatient department and uh, intensive counseling, group counseling. I have seen, uh, we have uh, uh, seen that also and the uh, different endometrial uh, preparation protocols 
for uh, donor cycles, for self cycles, and uh, coming to the uh, procedure rooms, we have uh, observed and uh, uh, have done some uh, pickups, uh, how the techniques or proper techniques of uh, approaching the uh, uh, stimulated ovaries, uh, triggered ovary, uh, follicles, and how to pick up systematically of uh, picking, operating on the patient, and uh, how to maximize your uh, um, uh, operation techniques and uh, and also patient selection, patient preparation for operation, uh, pre anesthesia care, and uh, also patient for hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, circlage, and uh, endometrial preparation for uh, transfers like uh, platelet rich uh, plasma uh, in, uh, injection to the endometrium and also colon side colony uh, stimulating factor provision different treatments uh, provisions we have seen and also <coughs> the um, embryo transfers embryo transfers and escorting the patient from the pickup to the the recovery room how to discharge what complications we should anticipate what complications we should uh, cover we should watch what danger signs we should tell the patient how to monitor them and uh, we have seen also few OHSs mild ones and moderate ones and the evaluation in the ultrasound we have also seen the congenital anomaly screening first trimester screening uh, and uh, end of first trimester screening of the uh, intrauterine uh, pregnancies, the protocols for doing circulates, and also in the meantime we are doing exercise on uh, simulations. And it was very intensive and uh, we have covered a lot of, uh, I have covered a lot of uh, areas. I would uh, like to thank Merck Foundation training program in providing this in providing this uh, crucial training for unreached uh, women of uh, uh, developing countries, underserved uh, countries, uh, especially Africa and uh, low economic status of uh, Asia. And it is, uh, nobody has realized uh, uh, infertility as a problem in these developing nations uh, because uh, overpopulation and fertility is uh, said to be a major problem. But uh, equally, the psychosocial and uh, uh, physical traumas uh, made to these uh, childless women are uh, tremendous and uh, uh, it is hidden. So, uh, Merck Foundation, in uh, uh, complementing the healthcare uh, service of this. Uh, couples is uh, timely and uh, uh, I think it will fill the gap of providing full reproductive health coverage for women in unreached uh, communities like underdeveloped or developing nations and uh, I would like to thank again Merck Foundation for its unreserved support and training and uh, other uh, material support uh, for um, this uh, countries and the my center.